Coach, uh, thanks for joining us. The fireworks get started here. They spared us during the game, but uh, I'll tell you what, you got that run that finished getting in Ali Anderson's RBI after handle triples to get started 1-0. Talk about that start. Well, that's one of the goals that we have going into most games, I guess, is to try to score first and uh, eases everything up just a little bit. And we got runners on. And, uh, you know, that's uh, another thing that we wanted to accomplish tonight was when we had runners in scoring position, put the bat on the ball. Unfortunately, we didn't have runners in scoring position enough times, I didn't think. But, um, you know, uh, this time of year, as we talked about in the pregame show, Tom, uh, every team is tough. Every team is uh, out there to win, and nobody wants their season ended. And I thought Shenandoah did a heck of a job. Allen had a great game plan for and I thought they executed it at the plate particularly very, very well. And you could see that their uh, outfield and infield didn't make very many mistakes. So it was a win that we had to uh, go out and earn. It wasn't anything easy. Through the inning, you're Bailey Newman with the double. They walk in. Allie Anderson singles. The bases are now loaded. And they just chip away and get the one run into time with a couple of, with a ground ball. The sack fly and the rush RBI single. That will be four to nothing. The third inning was a big, obviously. Yeah, that's huge. You know, uh, with Allie in the circle, teams aren't going to score a ton of runs. And uh, usually, especially, well, I'll go with Allie in the circle and they're behind the plate because uh, she threw four of their runners out last time we played them. So we knew there'd be a little hesitant to run. And uh, when you're not hitting bombs or uh, <laughs> home runs, you have to do some, three things somewhere along the line to get that runner in. Uh, unless you hit a triple down the line but uh, like they did. But, uh, you know, uh, that was kind of the goal. If they get on first, okay, so be it. Then we're going to try to hold them there, uh, do everything we can to, to do that. We did let them get some runners over to a second. They got the shot down the line that uh, uh, scored the run. And, and uh, you know, of course, I, I, I attribute that to Shenandoah's ability to be able to uh, the great approach to the plate. Coach uh, Michaela Atkins, a pitcher for Shenandoah, really settled in and retired 10 Trojans in a row there later on the ball yeah. game. Yeah, she did a great job. Uh, hats off to her. I mean, I talk about how uh, I didn't care much for our approach at the plate, but, you know, mate, she had a lot to do with that, the way she was throwing and keeping the ball on spots where she was hitting, uh, uh, you know, most of them, a little, uh, keeping us a little bit off balance with some off-speed pitches. But, um, you know, the thing is, uh, like I said, if uh, we can hold teams and minimize big innings like we did, um, yeah, we should be able to come out on top. No doubt, Coach, and then Allie Anderson, just, she was so tough again. She had a couple of... Uh, Issue, uh, issue, um, incidents where there was a couple of runners on, and she was able to get a strikeout to get out of the inning. Uh, I, I've got a, an officially five strikeouts, so I'll add those up again. But again, no walks and solid defense behind. Her. Yeah, you know that's the thing. Um, you know, I didn't really think Allie had uh, her best stuff tonight. A part of that has to do with Shenandoah's approach at the plate and how they were uh, making her pay for any mistake that she was going to make. Um, right, and uh, yeah, you're right about the defense. You know, we had some nice plays that we made. Uh, Carson made a nice catch over here. Bailey's always solid at uh, shortstop. Made a nice catch over her shoulder out here uh, in this last inning to uh, shut things down. I mean, that was a tough little spot there that we put ourselves in, allowing uh, seven, eight, and nine for Shenandoah to get on base or at least uh, occupy those positions in the sixth inning. Meaning we had to come back and face Atkinson in the one, two, three of uh, uh, Shenandoah's heart of the order in the seventh, which we didn't really want to do. But uh, you know, Hallie took care of business. Defense took care of the rest. Reagan had a nice play, and, and uh, you know, we're moving on. I'll uh, let you go, Coach. Summarize it up for us. The big keys here tonight. Big keys. Um, you know, I guess uh, we did have uh, in the mid part of the inning there, we did have in the mid part of the game, I should say, we did have some runners in scoring position. We were able to get them across. As you pointed out, uh, just uh, you know, kind of uh, wasn't a huge hit, but it was just enough to be able to get enough runs. Allison uh, making sure that they didn't uh, get too, too many runners on base and too much time, and I think defense as well. Coach, congratulations. See you Friday night. You bet, Tom. Glad you're here.